Yeah, testing one, two, three. Uh, day three of uh, nationwide national emergency, medical emergency quarantine for COVID-19. Uh, this would be the day after my birthday. 17 March is St. Patty's Day. 18 March is St. Journeyman Jack's Day. And today's 19 March 2020. Clear vision. Pretty much uh, not a lot going on. It's a few, I've seen some kids riding their bikes. Uh, young folks, my brother in law, my brother in law's brother in law. We all live in the same subdivision. It's about a hundred houses in here. And this is really about two football fields long green space. It's about a 40, about a 40 year old subdivision. And I've got three other households here that um, I look up to for guidance and whatnot there. Of course, natural born Ecuadorians, my wife's family. Um, I just got out for the first time and walked to my corner store, which was about two football fields. Two blocks. Back down that way. Um, what uh, I see popping up often on uh, social media, be it Twitter, Facecrack, or whatever, is uh, oh, a good healthy amount that, that doubt the government statistics, doubt the entire fiasco when they compare some numbers with standard flu um, and that's all well and good it's good to question your government and to always have an open mind about things um, however uh, it don't really matter if it's false narrative, uh, partially false narrative, incorrect number, numbers, I'll talk a little Spanish for you, incorrecto numeros, <laughs> what have you. All that don't really matter. It's because the weaponization by global media has taken this uh, event and really run with it. So therefore, much of uh, where I've been for 12 years here, just outside of, out of Quito and uh, servicing the entire country, coastal Cuenca, Loja, Vilcabamba, Cotacachi, Ibarra, Imbabura, uh, Esmeraldas, and all that stuff. Um, I gotta stay at the house, that's real. The government will find me six thousand dollars and up to four, three or four years in prison if I step outside the subdivision. And if they want to get technical about it, and if a squad car was to come in here and I'm a gringo, they could give me a hard time about why I'm even out of my house. I'm 57 years old as of yesterday. Why didn't I have my 36 year old uh, newlywed bride, why didn't I let her stronger immune system, a uh, strong young person, let them walk two blocks, two city blocks to the store? I'd have to do some splaining, Lucy, in my still uh, ever progressing Spanish skills. And, and the biggest part of my Spanish skills is my enunciation, pronunciation. Uh, I hail from Atlanta, Georgia for 
many, many generations of Georgians, native Georgian, native Atlantan. And uh, so I have a little bit of a issues with some of my English with other people from say, UK, Great Britain, Ireland, Scotland, Australia, uh, West Coast, Pacific Northwest, New England. I gotta have them say it a time or two before I get a grip on it. And I have clients from all over the world. And uh, so I've tried to work on my English the last 12 years too, speak slowly and succinctly in English as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, the ramifications of COVID-19, of coronavirus, are real. Whether if it's a bioweapon or not, or a freak of nature act of God, uh, lives on the surface of doorknobs, handrails, countertops for nine, eight, nine, ten days. Uh, if a person can carry it and transmit it uh, for up to 28 days, maybe it is a bioweapon or something that got tweaked and something that just got out of hand. But regardless, it is more contagious than flu. Might not be as deadly as flu, but it is uh, about 10 times more contagious than flu, standard flu. Um, and we also are asked if we step out of our house on a designated day to do, go some shop, do some shopping, to wear a mask and gloves. And, uh, I've been doing it since Super Bowl, long before uh, it got fashionable here recently. Uh, I've been following it that closely, pretty closely. So anyway, just wanted to say hello from uh, Kumbaya Valley, uh, 20 minutes outside of Quito to the east. 20 more minutes to my east would be uh, Quito Airport, international airports built out in the country, countryside, and they're counting on the explosive mushroom growth of population to have caught up with it. That remains to be seen. We'll just see about that. This has been a Journeyman Jack in Ecuador production. Signing off until next time.